So today I wanna to chat about the nine ways or the nine things that I've done to simplify my life as a mom of two toddlers and someone running two different businesses. The first thing I did and the first thing that I feel like has just really kind of changed the game for me, and it's not even like I did these things in any particular order. I don't know why I'm wearing this apron, but um, I didn't do any of this stuff in any particular order, but all of these things have helped me really simplify my life doing a lot of things. So the first thing was locking my hair. So I had to figure out something to do with my hair. I feel like I've talked about this before, but I was struggling to make sure that I looked presentable. And you know, it's not enough for me at least to like put on an outfit if my hair is not done because I just feel crazy and I just feel like it just, it doesn't all come together. But when I locked my hair, girl, it changed the game for me. I'm able to get up and get dressed in, you know, four minutes, three minutes. Like I can do it so fast. My hair, I usually at nighttime, I just tie it up. Um, every like four or five days, I will bantu knot it so I can get it curly. But otherwise, girl, the locks are a vibe. And that was the first thing that I needed to do to simplify my life because it makes the morning routine so much faster. It makes it to where I'm always presentable or already always ready to just get up and go. So as much as I love my loose natural, it just did not allow me the flexibility I needed in this season of life with small kids to just be up, be ready, be presentable and to do the things that I wanna do. And so that was like one of the biggest things in the last like four or five months that has really simplified my life. So the second thing, and this is more business related, I decided this year especially to take less clients but to provide a higher touch experience and i'm going to take this on with me next year as well but when i start to take less clients and really prioritize giving each client a more tailored custom experience this did mean me leaving okay sit down this did mean that i left a little bit of money on the table but it was worth it for my peace of mind speaking of peace the third thing is creating a peace list so i have this list it's a running list of things that's in my phone of things that bring me peace things that bring me joy and literally i look at this list like every single day and i try to prioritize making sure that i do one thing off of this list and the reason why this has made my life a lot simpler is simply because when i shifted my perspective and really focused on what are the things that bring me joy what are the things that like calm my spirit it made to where my cup was full which in turn allows me to have like the mindset that I need to live a more simple life and this is like I feel like this is not really on the list but it, it's part of my list of things that make life simpler because I used to you know have maybe the kids would leave with their dad and I would be at home and I'm just like oh man what am I gonna do I could do this that and the third and I would like have this long list of to-do things I could do and then I was like no let's keep it simple when the kids are gone and I know they're only gonna be gone for an hour I'm I'm gonna do something off the peace list because I know that that is gonna be something that restores or refuels my spirit and allows me to show up as a better mom, a better wife, etc. So my fourth thing to live a simpler life is your girl has a uniform, okay? And I recommend that all moms have a uniform. For me, I'm a dress girly, yes. So I love wearing dresses because it always matches, right? I can wear my tennis shoes, I can do whatever I want and wear a dress, it's great. I did go through a season where I was like really big on two-piece sets, right? Um, I am going to do like, I don't wanna do like maybe a capsule wardrobe, but I wanna do something where I have like staple pieces that can be mixed and matched. But even then I'm trying to think like, what would be the uniform? Like would it be pants, top, jacket? Like what, what would it be? Because for me, it makes my life so much simpler when like the night before we could pick out our clothes but it's like i know without a shadow of a doubt anytime i need to get dressed that this is what i'm wearing and so there's like a consistent uniform so it's an extra step but i'm thinking that my i might also do like a on mondays i wear this on tuesdays i wear that and it's not that i'm wearing like the same outfit but it's like you know maybe on mondays i wear jeans or on tuesdays i wear this and i don't know about anybody else but that kind of structure feels so simple to me like it makes it to where what i'm doing and how i'm operating is literally k proof like i can't mess this up unless i don't do laundry kind of situation and that's what i need like i need that kind of ease and simplicity to be in my life the fifth way that i have simplified my life is through decluttering i literally have just gotten rid of so much stuff whether i've donated it it was old so i trashed it um you know what i've just gotten rid of a lot of stuff and i have this new rule where every three months like or sorry every time i go to declutter if i haven't touched the thing in three months if i haven't used the thing in three months it's gotta go it doesn't 
doesn't matter what I do with it, it just has to go because it's not serving a purpose or a function. So that is my rule and decluttering has honestly been a godsend because it's made cleaning a lot easier and it just makes me feel like there's not a bunch of stuff. And for me, having a ton of stuff is not me living a simple life. I'm not a minimalist, like I love things, but I love things that serve a purpose or have a function or have a place. And I'm, I, it just drives me crazy and my life feels super complex or super overwhelming when I have too much stuff that's like, what what is this even doing here like why is this here what is this function like all those things so now i am like best friends with throwing things in a trash bag and i'm either donating it giving it away whatever long story short it goes in a trash bag it goes in the car and it goes somewhere but it gets up out of here so this one is a little bit random but i have decided to not use my phone outside of work and i know that, that sounds like weird because it's like how do you not use your phone outside of work i still call people i still text people and stuff like that but i'm very intentional about how much time i'm spending on my phone and if it's not relevant to work i actually put my phone down now i do read books from my phone so that's what i do need like, like to get a kindle or a tablet or something so i can like get off the phone and so that the kids can clearly see like okay mommy's not in her phone but like i'm actually you know reading a book but it has really simplified my life to like not be in my phone all the time. And I've been doing really good for the last like six months of being intentional about where I'm using my phone and when I'm using my phone. Of course I take pictures and stuff like that, but I'm really intentional about like, I'm not just gonna be sitting on my phone scrolling. Like it's gonna be designated hours or, so maybe it's not like designated hours, but it is like intentional set time where I'm like, okay, I know that I'm scrolling for this purpose because it's for work or whatever. And like, I have a parameter. It's like after this hour is up, an alarm pops up and I'm done. And so that's been really, great and really cleansing for me. I feel like that's like a digital simplification. So the seventh way I have simplified is that we eat the same thing for breakfast. And I know this is probably like, ugh, people don't wanna do this, but I promise you it is a game changer. So every morning for breakfast, we have hash browns and then like sausage, the baby like sausage, and then King and all the rest of us like bacon. And so we literally eat that every day. Now, sometimes we'll add in waffles, sometimes we'll add in oatmeal, like we'll add in different things, but the base of what we eat every day is the exact same. And honestly, it has cut back or cut down on so much like back and forth between me and the kids it's cut down on like you know me not knowing what to cook or what we're gonna eat because it's like it's our favorite food right like it's literally our favorite food so it's not like it's a, a chore or a bother to eat it and we are late people so we don't eat until like noon anyway so it's just like it's a great way to kind of start our day and then we like eat all the fun stuff that we want to eat afterwards but like having a simple breakfast and just knowing like okay this is what we're gonna eat every time i open the fridge i'm like oh we're running out of bacon bacon is our staple thing so we need to buy some right i know that like okay when we run out of certain types of hash browns and like we switch up the hash browns like sometimes it's hash browns sometimes it's tear ties um sometimes i will chop like i'll cube um potatoes it just depends on how we're feeling but that is our staple breakfast and man when i tell you that that has some simplified the game for me it really has because thinking of what to cook and what to eat is just such a chore to me and I'm so glad that we finally found something that works everybody like like literally everybody in this house enjoys it so the eighth thing that I've done to kind of simplify things for myself is that every time I think of something I write it down like anything in my brain that I think of like oh we need this oh I need that I write it down and I have several different lists that I write things down on like I have a grocery list that I write you know groceries on I have like a list of just ideas that I might have I have very specific places that I put these things like my you know grocery list is on um on, on a piece of paper on my clipboard it also goes in my notes app i have a notes app that's just geared towards ideas like i have places that i write you know i have like three different lists that i write things down on but i do not hold things in my brain anymore and that has been such a game changer in just simplifying what's going on in my mind because i know that i think i, I can't believe i can't remember what the percentage is but i think we only use like 20 percent of our brain or 10 percent or something like that we use such a small portion of our brain and then everything gets filed away and i know that i cannot hold so many ideas or so many like grocery lists and stuff like that in my head like it just does not work for me um mom brain is real and i'm just like i don't want to do this to myself so a way that i've simplified is by having designated lists where whenever something comes up into my brain even if it's a random like dream i will like i have a dream list and i will write it down just so that it's out of my brain and then when i'm ready to you know deal with it or handle it then at least i know where it is and i don't have to like you know think in my mind or like go back through and you know look through everything to figure out what i need it's like 
like no i know it's on one of these lists it came out of my brain it went on a list and that's it right so that has really been helping me simplify my life as well and the last thing that has helped me simplify my life is that i have ditched the productivity hacks honestly i'm just at a point in my life and in my business that i need to just focus on doing one thing trying to you know create new systems and do all this stuff it's just not for me like it's not simple for me i don't want to learn a new productivity system i don't want to do this hack i don't want to you know time block and time schedule while i get the purpose of it and i do it in a loose form i just don't have the capacity for that and that does not feel simple for me it feels very restrictive so i know that i have a three hour block to work so instead of saying like oh from eight to eleven or whatever i'm gonna do this down the third i say okay i have a three hour block wherever that three hour block is or however it looks if i'm only, if i only have three hours i'm gonna spend one hour doing this two hours doing that right and that's how i'm gonna do my work schedule and so now it's not necessarily locked in on the calendar but i know what i'm doing when the time comes and i mean as moms i feel like we can all relate to the fact that like we can create a calendar all day long and the kids are still going to do whatever they want to do or life is just going to life and it's just like why am I going to, you know, set myself up for failure or like stress myself out trying to fit a mold of a pro productivity hack or pro productivity method? As much as I love productivity, I've had to just like kind of ditch a lot of the hacks and really focus on what works for me in this season. And what works for me in this season is to just really think about things in a broader context. And that has been really, really helpful in helping me create a more simplified life. So those are my nine little things that I've been doing. Feel free to share with me in the comments what you have been doing or what things you do to make your life a little bit more simple or if any of these resonated with you and I will see you in the next one.